Whoa! What's that? I have a knock! It's an Intel knock! It's a knock! So, tell me about this wonderful piece of hardware. Well, What's the specs? I just threw in the memory and the hard drive and we'll it up. Okay, hook the HDMI. What, what's uh, the BIOS? Yeah, tell me all about the well, I gotta go to the BIOS because I processor I and memory. The and oh, it started already. Oops. All right, so I'll start Windows and then I'll immediately. You see how the ring works? See that? I'm seeing that's pretty cool. Um, but I have to restart because I didn't get into the BIOS. So, oops. So, what we're looking at here is an Intel nut. Now it's a Kaby Lake. Okay. So I know it's an i5 Kaby Lake, which got the 640 iris, but the only thing is I don't know exactly which uh, processor it is. It should show up in the BIOS. Okay, you don't have CPU-Z in there, huh? No. Honestly. So that'll tell you everything. Right, which it would. Right now I'm connected to the um, HDMI. All right, we're looking at the BIOS screen in this thing. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It's got a 7260U CPU. Which is Katie Lake. It starts at 220. It maxes out at 3.4. It's got 16 gig of RAM. It's a crucial RAM, mm -hmm. uh, which is 2133 DDR4, and it's got a eight. Uh, it's got an 850 500 gig Evo for storage. That's what I got for there. Okay, and it also has. Uh, the nifty little, uh, you know, rectangle what lights up when the uh, when the hard drive works, which I'll uh, go ahead and go this BIOS because there's really not a lot to see in this really attractive little little package there. I will get out of the Who box. makes this knock? I mean, is this Intel? This is Asus? actual Intel. This is actual Intel. Okay. So right now or soon, you'll see some flashing, which would be the hard drive activity. So what are the ports on the front there? I have USB 3, and then I have a USB 3 powered, which is the orange. It can actually power stuff. There's Thunderbolt 3, there's an SD card reader, and uh, on the back, there's HDMI Plus. Which one's the Thunderbolt? Uh, the Thunderbolt, I think, is on the back, I believe. Oh, okay. I don't think you can see it here, but, um, you know, there's the window screen, and uh, yeah, I wish I actually had loaded the CPU Z, but. Um, here's 107, it's running just fine, and um, if I go to system... So I guess you don't have like a Unigen or something like that to do a... Uh... No, but you can see <clears throat> I've got 29 days to activate Windows, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's uh, 107 uh, SP1, you can see it's an i5, it's got uh, the 16 gig of RAM, it's right there. So what's the plans for this? It's going to be uh, basically connecting to my TV for um, Netflix and um, Hulu Plus and all that. Kind of, it's going to be <coughs> kind of the video server for my TV. Oh, so basically the the uh, second generation or second decade of uh, 21st century's version of the HTPC. Yeah, this is going to be literally the only thing on my TV, along with the um, airwave um, antenna. Yeah, and by the way, folks, if you see this cool looking little external thing, it has nothing to do with this, so. But there you go. That's, well, you know um, what, are you gonna shut it down? I wanna see those back ports. Yeah, well, okay, we can shut it down. I'll shut it down and I'll show you the back ports. So okay, the back, so the back uh, ports. The NUC uh, includes that's a Thunderbolt 3 port. Okay, on the very end there. You got two USB 3s. You got a one gigabyte uh, a uh, gigabit Ethernet. Ethernet. And you got an HDMI. And then the power. And then these are vents. Okay. And on the side, you got a little media reader. And oh, cool. What kind of media does it read? Uh, it reads all the media that you can put in there, which like is a like a micro SD. Yeah, micro maybe? SD, right, exactly. Okay. And you have a, a, a lock. You got a lock uh, if you want there. On the front, again, back to the front, USB 3, USB 3 powered, and then you got a three and a half inch jack for uh, headphones or microphone or awesome. both combo. And then this side, I don't think it has anything except for vents. Fence. Yeah. That's a neat little system. So, well, that's an i5. 
An i5 what again was that? That was a 7260, wasn't it? Okay. 7260U. So what would you say that's basically equivalent to in a full desktop? That's a Katie Lake, so... You can I go a previous generation if you want. I would put that CPU somewhere in the Haswell range, probably okay. an i5 or probably a lower i7. Okay. I think. So more power than you'd probably ever need. And they also sell i7s. They do sell i7 Nux as well. So, so now does this have the, the feature with that a lot of Nux have where you can actually get a, a case, a cover that is different from this, like it's custom or you can like yes. stack them? Or? Yes, that cover can be removed. Um, I have not done that myself personally, but yes, it can be removed. So yeah, you can definitely change the cover if you'd like. Um, and this one also has the NVMe uh, mm -hmm. point, uh, which I did not use. I've been using a, a 500 gig um, A50 Evo, mm -hmm. uh, which is a two and a half inch in this particular model. But it also does have the NVMe uh, drive available. And they also sell NUCs that are about a half inch lower that only accept M2s or NVMe's. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you have that option as well. So what about like things like audio features and that kind of thing? What do you Audio has the full sound system. It's got full at least 5.1. It might even have 7.1. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the uh, AS Media um, chipset in there for audio. Uh, and it's got the HDMI pass-through. So you got that. And uh, it also has uh, something that I'm forgetting. There's, there is a problem that I'm forgetting. So, but yeah. It's it's a good what the model number of this thing is. Yeah. I can't read it here because I'm freaking blind, but um, well there's the model number of what this particular NUC is. It is, yeah. And you see it's a real Intel and it tells you where the front is, where my thumb is. <laughs> so this so is thanks. Neat. It's got some weight to it too. This yeah, thing's about three pounds, I say. Yeah, it's it's a solid. Feel, you know what? Like, how much did you pay for this? Uh three sixty seven base. Okay, well this feels like three hundred and sixty seven bucks. But so, you remember, you have to buy the memory, and you have to buy the memory, and you have to buy the storage. I'm making it worse. But, oh, wow. Okay. Well, now you so your 367 is going to go up a little bit because of memory and storage. But otherwise, we're good. It's a neat little system. I, I'm anxious to see this thing in uh, AV duty. And uh, you were talking earlier about, we were talking about this, you're talking about you've got Windows 7 on here, and yep. you're going to try to do Kodai, but you're also thinking about the option of just going to straight Kodai Ubuntu. And remember, this actually can do a 4K uh, screen. Mm -hmm. It has the capability, the 640 Iris can do 4K. It's got 640 Iris on on board graphics. It's got a 640 Iris, so it can yeah. actually do uh, 4K. Well, and the other thing too is, where'd you say the Thunderbolt pole was on the back here? Uh, three. Thunderbolt three. Thunderbolt three? Yep. It's one of these, right? Uh, the small one. The small one right there. Where the little right, lightning right is. There. there we are. You know, what's nice about that is, you know, and I know there's not a lot of them, but if you get those one of those external video cards, you can daisy video chain adapters, yep. daisy chain that. Oh, sorry, I said bad word. Anyway, you can daisy chain that, and uh, hey, you can have a gaming rig out of this thing. Good, you, you know. You probably could. Probably do Path of Exile just fine, or something like that. Absolutely. So, all right, so. cool. So this was the NUC, and I don't know the model number because I can't read because I'm blind. But this is an Intel NUC, and it's KB Lake, so it's one of the newer NUCs. It's got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Interesting little package there. This was about three inches square. Yeah, it's nice. So, all right. Well, thanks a lot for the little thing and a uh, little uh, intro and uh, you know, tech review there. Anxious to see this thing uh, in production. We'll talk to you later. All right, later on. Thanks a lot.